Hey guys, welcome back. Wow, I'm doing another video t today, tomorrow, whatever. I don't know. <clears throat> something got I got something in the mail. Something in the mail, and this is from um, <coughs> this company called Boxed Heroes. So these are some comic books. Now, before I go any further, let me explain certain things. Let me explain some things. I might have, I thought I explained this before, but I may have not. Just hold on one second. Okay, now, sorry about that. <coughs> mm, summer cold. All right. So what happened is, is, oh, I'm a comic book collector. I started collecting comic. I started collecting comic books when I was six years old, which helped me, which pretty much helped teach me how to read. <coughs> and the thing is, the one thing I've learned is, if it's something that you're interested in, you have no problems doing it. If you, especially if you if you can learn from it. If you can learn from it, then guess what? <laughs> Whatever. It's easier for you to do. So what happened was, I collected comics pretty much on and off all my life until like years ago. I stopped because of like job reasons, car reasons, female problems. And the funny thing is, after a while, I decided to get right back into it. <laughs> now what happened is, I'm going to show you this. This is a copy of Batman 92. Okay, this is the copy of the store. Any comic book store you go to, you will see this. Now, what happened is, <clears throat> the comic book industry has been hurting lately because not a lot of people buy comics anymore. <laughs> For some people, it's the price of like three ninety nine. Some people, it's just it. And plus, what happened was, you know, they have the free comic book day every every year, the first weekend in May, the first Saturday in May, the free comic book day. Lots of people go there for comics, but not make, they just go there for the free comics and boom, you don't see them ever again. <laughs> so what happened is, and they, the comic book movies, like for example, the Batman, Christopher Nolan trilogy, based on that movie, DC thought that because you love those movies, you will pick up these books. No, no one does. So, which means the movies are designed for people who are not comic book fans. But anyway. So in order for the comic book industry to keep going, they have to do what's called variant books. That means that's the same comic book, but different cover. Now this is Batman, Batman 92, okay? You see the Penguin, Batman, Harley Quinn right there, and some guy playing a chess piece. And who's this right back there? This is, and the Riddler is way in the back right there. I think that's a Riddler. And this is Punchline. Now, this is Batman 92, the variant book of Punchline. Now, this was a very hot book. Now, these books come in a variety of sequences, like one in, out of, one in 25, one in 50, one in 100, one in 25, 50, and 100, or, something, or one in 10, 25, 50, 100, something like that. That means a store, unless you buy this specially from certain stores, like I do sometimes, or like in combo mystery boxes, which usually have variants, so like a comic book company will have to buy a hundred books just to get maybe say this is the one in twenty five, just get four of these variants. To buy a hundred books to get four of these variants, and the variants sometimes cost is what actually worth money. So like the one in a hundred variant, it's worth a lot more than the one in ten or one twenty five. Okay, and what happens is a lot of people they'll they'll do what they call they'll slab it. Well, in other words, they're great and slatted. 
so let's say for example this Daredevil 180 right here this is what you call a slab I bought this for like about 45 bucks the comic is technically worth about 20 to 25 maybe maybe 30 but with the slab you can command higher prices because it's graded out of out of 10 to 9.6 <laughs> so that means this is almost a very great condition most and this book was in the 80s 1982 for, for be precise and because of most comics in the 80s like I have a lot of them they're not in, they're not in this kind of condition <clears throat> so and this helps protect this helps keep it straight and protected and say for example if this book actually starts worth more money I could say you know what, I might sell it for a little bit more for example this is this right here is a variant book of something I forgot because I don't remember this in the stores This right here is a X Men 138, and the signature right. You see, there's a signature right here. Okay, now a signed comic can be worth a little bit more money. This cost me about almost 50 bucks. Normally, this book is probably like 10 to 15, maybe at tops. But with the, this guy is Chris Claremont, the guy who wrote the book. This is the guy who made X Men, the X Men. If you know anything about X-Men, Chris Claremont was the person who made X-Men the X-Men. Introduced Wolverine all of them. Okay? Now this right here is a sign, and it was, here's a certificate of authentication, or COA. Right here. Okay? Now what happens is, I can get this slapped, but what happens is, they'll put in a slab, and they'll say some kind of remark, we never witnessed it, so we don't know. They'll verify this is legit, but it's not really cool, but... They just say, okay, we verified this is his signature, but we never witnessed it. <clears throat> so places like, like CGC or P PGX or CBCS, these companies who slabs, they have to see this person sign the book. And sometimes the artist will pay charge you more just to have, just have someone six, verify it. This is Spider-Man 135, which is the second appearance of the Punisher. <laughs> Now what happens, this is a very decent copy, and I got it for like 60 bucks. Yeah, I bought it like for 60 bucks. So if I get this slab, now what happens, I, there's a process called pressing and cleaning, where they'll try to clean up some of the smudges, and they'll press it to get it close to pristine condition, like, like this. They'll try to get it to pristine condition like this, and they'll grade it. So if I get this grade, this will probably be like a five or a six, which is fine by me, but because I'm not going to sell it. It's been a long time getting. Or say, for example, this right here. This is Sparrowhawk. Now the thing is, this comic, this comic book is only worth about five bucks. It's only worth about five bucks. To get it graded and slabbed, it costs about sixty bucks per book. Now, what happened was. <coughs> This was in 19, 2018. It's 9.8 out of 10, which is fine. Now, there's rumors that this this comic book was optioned for a TV show or a movie or something like that. So, if that rumor is true, that means the worth of this comic book might shoot up in value. And if it does, then I got something worth something. Something worth something, finally. There was a couple books I bought that they people said the the, uh, the writers said, oh yeah we're trying to option this off of you know a lot of creators they they don't care about writing comics they try to write property so that way they can be the next Walking Dead <clears throat> but anyway that's partly of what this is all about. That's just a quick overview of what I usually do. Back in the 90s, people was buying comic books in droves. Because you had these great storylines of Death of Superman, Nightfall, Batman's break, Bane breaks Batman's back, Spider-Man. 
all these people. <coughs> and of course, the relaunching of X Men, which sold millions and millions of copies. And the thing is, people thought, uh, was people like me, hey, if I buy five or six of these, I got gold. 20 years later, the books are worth no more than a. It's probably worth no more than a pack of gum right now. So they, the comic book company is looking for short-term profit over long-term gain. But anyway. <clears throat> so this one right here, this, I found this, I saw this in another YouTubers. A couple YouTubers do these for this company. So I decided, let me try it. It's called Boxed Heroes. Okay. Now what happens this box this box is about thirty bucks. For thirty bucks you get about five comics. On the back. There you go. Now what happens this place will also have a subscription service. And if you get the subscription service, it's thirty bucks a month. That means you get that means you get this a box like this every month of alternative comics that might be actually worth something. Or some cool stuff that you can't find anywhere else. And you, you're put into a monthly drawing where you can get, you know, those, uh, you know, the slab books I was telling you about. That's worth, really worth money. You get put in drawings for those. You get put in drawings for those. So, like I said, do I really want to do this for this place? I don't know. So what happened is, is like, they give me this. It says, do you want to, you want to win a graded comic? You have two chances to win this one. Tag us in a post on social media. Follow us on social media. <clears throat> I want to bring out the first of every month. So what happens is if I want to try to win something, I can either do the subscription or give them a shout out on social media. <clears throat> now, the thing is, look at it. This is the bubble wrapping, which is good. I like this. Got their little own special tape. So that means the comics are in pretty decent condition. What I'm going to do what I'm going to do <clears throat> is that I'm going to show you guys before I see it. And I wanted to let see yeah, one. I want you to think, I want you to know if I got something cool, okay? All right. This this book feels kind of thick, so I don't know what it is. The thing is, as you can see right here, I didn't see anything. So I have no idea what this book is because I opened it live in front of everybody else. So here we go. As you can see, I cannot see, you can't see my face, so that means I can't see this. So the question is, did this is this so the question is was that something cool I don't know let's find out ooh Batman the ultimate evil adaptation of the novel ooh, so that means so that means this was a novel at one time book two or two so that means there was a novel a Batman novel and they they did an adaptation which means they drew a they drew the novel Pretty nice. That sounds cool. I might have to get the first one. Okay. Ooh. Now this one right here says it's a variant. It says it's a variant, and see what happens right here on the back has a little sticker right there, right there, which seals it. This one right here, I'm looking at the I'm looking at the back. It says Peach Momoko variant. Peach Momoko is a artist that's hot right now. So she's very hot right now now think about it when you do a comic book you the artist does the book but the cover person gets more money <clears throat> gets an extra bonus and that's why like a lot of people they make money off of doing varying covers for books that's why they're getting money so hey so let's so let's see what this peach momoko is okay And Peach Momoko has a different, different style of drawing. So, so now here's a question: Was this kind of cool? 
I don't know. Let's let's find out. Oh, I saw this before. Oh, cover E. I saw this book once. Ooh. Yeah, that's kind of nice. All right, ready? This is number three. Oh, there's six books. Oh, okay, so so six books. So if you order more, if you order the script, you get a little bit more, okay? So, is this a cool book? I don't know. Let's just find out. Oh! It's old school goodness. Old school. This was a, I believe this is a 60, 1960s book. I think this book is from the 1960s. Um, or 70s, let's see. Because I remember in the 70s, they were like about 35 cents. So the 70s to the early 80s. This is pretty cool. This is good. I like this. Boland was also a very good artist at that time. Nice. Oh, man. This is... Mm. Okay. That was that looks pretty cool. Man, let me look at that again. Hmm. Okay. All right, let's see. Next. Now, mind you, I I ordered these like last week. I ordered this last Friday or Saturday, and I just got them today. So that's pretty cool. Did I get something cool? Let's find out. Oh, this is old school Star Wars from the see. <clears throat> in my past videos, Disney owns the Marvel. Disney owns Star Wars. So now Marvel Comics is doing Star Wars comic books now. This is back in the day when Marvel was doing the style when they had the license to do the Star Wars comic books. I don't I never had this one. And plus, you know, back then you found you found comic books in like bookstores or in like bookstores and like 7 Eleven and drugstores and stuff like that. <clears throat> so sometimes you know you go up there every week, you met you might miss a couple. Which happens, but that's, I like that. I like that a lot. Plus, it's in really nice condition too. But it's probably they're only worth they're, these Star Wars comic books are not worth that much. The only comic book that, there's two or three comic Star Wars comic books that's worth a lot. Of course, the original trilogy, the original tri the Episode Four trilogy, and um, I think us annual. I can't remember, but anyway. This is kind of thick, so I wonder. So what do I get? What did you think? So let's see what I got. King Size Annual Fantastic Four. This is good. See what happens in back in the day, they used to do it every year they have an annual. <coughs> This is against the mole man and stuff. This is some good. This is some goodness right here. This is some goodness, right? This is actually pretty cool. I like this. I kind of like this right here. Wow, that's amazing. Last book. Let's find out. Ultimate Spider-Man. Okay. It's not bad. Not bad. I used to collect Ultimate Spider-Man for a hot second. So let's see. So let's take a look at this. The worst book that I don't... The, the one book that I really don't really like... It's probably this one. Everything else looks kind of cool, but I mean, this is pretty nice. Pretty nice. I'm definitely gonna go to the. I'm definitely gonna go to this place again. 
Definitely. Boxed heroes. I'm definitely going to this place. Don't know when. See, I always try to, I always try to do something like if not all not every month. Not every month, but if I had money like that, I will be doing this every month. It's content for this content for the channel, but other than that, I want to say thank you very much. If you haven't watched any of my movie, oh, there's something I forgot to do. There was a comic book I was looking for for years. Finally found it. Came in the mail yesterday. X-Men 112. See that? That is some awesome goodness right here. I was looking for this for years and I finally found it and I finally got it. Nice. But anyway. <clears throat> I want to say thank you for watching this. This is a little bit longer than I expected, but that's okay. I hopefully I help you with some some knowledge. Even though I don't I'm not perfect with my knowledge, but I know a little bit. And I hope you might like it too. But anyway. Let me know down below if you if I if you thought I got some good stuff. If you think I got ripped off for 30 bucks, let me know down there too. Alright, so um with that, uh our guy starts the weekend. I don't know. I don't know. Am I gonna do another one pretty soon? I don't know. But anyway, there's some books I gotta read. There's some books I gotta read, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna go to the comic book store this weekend because I got three books in there, and every time I go in there, I spend like 40 to 50 bucks. And I got three books. I don't know. Maybe I might wait till next week. But other than that, thank you very much. Thanks for subscribing. Um, if you have any ideas of what I should do, just let me know. I'll see if I can do it. No, I'm not gonna fast. I'm not going to fast about, I'm not going to fast. I'm not going to try to get myself kicked out of stores for not wearing a mask. I'm not doing any of that crazy stuff. <clears throat> but, um, no, I'm not going to be dressing outside like a chicken or running around naked. I'm not doing any of that stuff. But anyway, hopefully you guys are having a good day and take care of yourselves.